Hello everyone! This video is on my weekly Wax Months reviews for the week of June 26, 2023 through July 2nd, 2023. And a quick little summary for the Wax Months picks theme that I use every June is my husband um, because his birthday month is June and so is Father's Day. So I pick um, scent notes and scent names and labels and shapes of Wax Months that I think suit him and of course ones that I know that he does like. Okay, so let's hop into this good stuff. The first one we have here is from Vintage Cheek Scents in the scent Cupcakes at the Cafe, which is Yummy Rich Vanilla Strawberry Cupcakes, poured May 2021. Um, cute bag of strawberries. I love this shape. Um, so with this one, I put um, two strawberries in three different warmers um, in three different areas of her home when I melted this scent this week, and this did very well. Medium to strong cure lasted for about four hours. And the scent smells the same on warm as it does on cold to me, which is a really delicious strawberry cupcakes at Tiffany scent. So exactly as described, very delicious. And yes, I will continue to purchase that. Very good scent. Um, next, we have a different vintage cheek scent. And this one is in the scent Beach Bombshell, which is bright citrus, coconut lotion, and sea salt poured March 2021. And this is a bag of Chantilly or Chantilly Shatter, however you like to pronounce it. Um, and so... This one is one of my current top favorite scents for summer. It is absolutely delicious. <laughs> and delicious, I mean, very beautiful. This is a very pretty, very pretty beachy scent. Um, and it smells the same on cold as it does on warm to me. Um, so this one I put a pretty good um, size piece in uh, three different warmers and three separate areas of our home. Um, I melted this this week and it did pretty well. It was a medium throw, lasted about four hours. Um, again, very pretty scent. Um, and highly recommend if you love pretty beachy scents, um, summery scents, very good. And yes, I will continue to purchase that. Very good. Um, next, we have a three pack from Sweet Sage Scents in the scent Pugsbury Doughboy, which is zucchini bread, sugar cookie, toasted marshmallow, poured April 21. Um, and so for this one, I put two of the buns in one warmer and one bun in a separate warmer um, in two different areas of our home when I melted this this week. And this did very well, very strong throw, lasted for about three hours before it started to fizz out a little bit. Um, and this scent smells the same on cold as it does on warm to me. And this did very well, very, very well. Um, I know this is a, I don't want to say a basic scent, but I know a lot of vendors do carry this blend. Um, but hers did really good and is very, very delicious. Like very, very good yummy blend. Um, I know she is closed now, but if uh, she were still to be open and offering this scent, I would continue to purchase that scent from her because it's very good. Um, next we have from Candles from the Keeping Room. This is Strawberry Funnel Cake. Um, I received this in a sash recently in June of 2023 and it's the biggest strawberries. Um, so for this one, I put one strawberry in two separate warmers in two different areas of our home when I melted this this week. And it did, like it was a medium throw. And the scent is really good. Like it smells like a, like a fried doughy funnel cake scent with strawberry jam on top. It is really good. Um, but, and it was medium throw, but it, it only lasted for about two hours before it started to fizzle out. And I think that is such a bummer because it is such a yummy scent. Um, but I will not repurchase this scent again because the throw just did not last very long. And that's, that's a bummer. All right. Next we have a different candles from the keeping room scent. And this one is in the scent strawberry pretzel. Um, <laughs> so here's this one. This one has a bunch of different shapes in it. And right here, these are um, like strawberry, not strawberry, <laughs> um, heart-shaped waffles, or heart waffle shapes. <laughs> um, so I put one heart waffle shape in two different warmers in two separate areas of our home when I melted this scent this week. And um, the throw was a very, very good. Strong throw, lasted for about four hours. Um, and it smells as it's called. It smells like a pretzel with strawberry. It is absolutely yummy. However, when my husband 
like I, I started melting this scent um, right when I got home. Um, but then when, like that day, but when my, like a couple hours later, when my husband had gotten home from um, <laughs> hanging out with his brothers, he walked right in to um, our living room and I wasn't even like, <laughs> like making eye contact with him yet and he goes no absolutely not and I was like what are you talking about and I thought he was making of some like making fun of something that I was watching on tv and I thought he was just picking on me but no he goes this scent this scent smells like cat pee and I was like what are you talking about it does not smell like cat pee are you serious and <laughs> I was like, I love this and I think it smells so good. So I think I have narrowed it down. So it's not just popcorn scents that he thinks smells like cat pee. I think it's just really salty scents, like salty bakery scents. So um, <laughs> I will um, have to be a little bit more careful when I'm picking out um, saltier scents <laughs> so that he doesn't think that we are like living in Cappy. <laughs> I just think that's really funny. Um, next we have a scent from Purple Fox in the scent, what is this one? Can't concentrate. And I don't really know the, um, the uh, like scent notes for this one because they are closed now. Um, I received this in an order in August, 2019. Um, and this is, I think they called them like their geo brittles or geo bars or something like that. Um, I do know that this is a mango sorbet scent and it smells the same on warm as it does on cold. Um, but I got a, an, oh, so I did, um, a chunk of this and one warmer and a smaller chunk and a separate warmer in two different areas of our home. And I melted this this week and, um, I got a really light throw lasted for about two hours before I, you know, I like, I let it do its thing for about two hours and I was like, okay, moving on. <laughs> Um, so I turned it off, you know, poured it out and popped in some other good stuff. Um, so they were, I mean, I know the scent is like pushing like the four year mark. Um, so it could just be the age of it or what, um, if they were still open, Purple Fox is closed now, but if they were still open, I would get the scent and melt it, um, sooner and not let it get that old to check to see if it's just the scent itself or if it just, you know, the fragrance oils and it don't last that long um so there's that one um next we have um a clam from super tarts and the scent marksman and this is a rebagged clam um and i see this in an order in september 2019 these scent notes are shaving cream sweet peach slices and juicy watermelon this was a full clam when i melted this this week i put two cubes in one warmer and two cubes in a separate warmer in a different area of our home and I melted this this week um and this did very well really strong throw uh lasted for about four hours um and this is just a like sweet fruity shaving cream scent and I know that kind of probably sounds weird to some people um but it is actually very very good um like I don't know it's like it's like a refreshing scent and a clean scent um but in like a different way than a cleaner type of scent if that makes sense <laughs> um but yeah i really do like this scent um it smells the same on warm as it does on cold to me strong throw um that's for about four hours really good scent really interesting scent um so yes i will continue to repurchase that because it is very good next from rose girls we have a chunk bag and jumping on clouds yeah here it is um and i received this in an order in may 2019 so this one is um this one is four years old now <laughs> um and this one smells the same on cold as it does on warm to me which is a really sweet and creamy bakery scent um so here's this one um so with this one i put one chunk in two different warmers in two different areas of our home when I melted this this week and this did pretty good it was a medium throw lasted for about three hours 
It is a very yummy scent and I do like it a lot. I will say though, I do like this more when it's blended with other stuff, especially with her green apple. It is absolutely phenomenal with the green apple. So delicious. Um, but yes, I will continue to repurchase this one because I do like it. I just like it more blended with other things. Um, next we have another purple fox scent and this one is in a different scent. It is uh, Paradise Found. And it is um, in the Geo Bar shape. There's that. I see this one in order in uh, July 2019. So I put a piece of it in um, three different warmers in three different areas of our home. And I melted this this week. And um, this smells the same on cold as it does on warm to me as well. Which is basically like a blackberry fizz scent. And I do like it because I do like blackberry fizz. Um, so I'm guessing this is a Blackberry Fizz blend. I just really couldn't get much more out of it than that, which is fine because I do like Blackberry Fizz and it is, um, four years old. So <laughs> can't, I can't really ask more than that, I suppose, from a wax milk that old. Um, but, I uh, got a medium throw from this for only about two hours before it started to fizzle out to, um, like a really light throw, almost a no throw. Um, so yeah, um... Again, if they were still open, I would repurchase this scent again and just melt it a lot sooner, not let it get quite that old to make sure that um, if it was just a scent that either is light in general or medium throw in general, just with a, uh, just, you know, doesn't throw that long, or if it's one of those scents that just um, doesn't get better with age. Um, okay, so... Next we have, from Sassy Girl Aroma, we have the scent Nanny, which is pink sugar, peach cotton candy, and I received this in an order in March 2020, um, and this is a brittle bar, and it was full when I melted this this week, um, so I put four cubes in one warmer and four cubes in a separate warmer in two different areas of our home when I melted this this week. Um, and to me, the scent smells the same on cold as it does on warm, which is a light peachy pink sugar scent. Um, so it's a very, like, I think it's a very unique scent because I feel like, um, I don't know, at least I haven't seen it a lot, is pink sugar and peach together. Um, however, this was a light throw scent for me, um, and so I let it do its thing for a couple of, like two hours before I was like, okay, going to move on. Um, but I mean, I really wanted to get a lot more of a throw out of this one. Um, and the peach is not a peach ring scent. So, which is great because I don't like that kind of peach. Um, so that was kind of a bummer. Um, I'm, I'm a little... <sighs> Like, I'm a little back and forth about wanting to repurchase the scent again from her um, because I don't know if it's just the scent that is light or if it's because it's three years old. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to think about it. <laughs> um, next, from Super Tarts, we have a full clam of Modoc. And it's a rebaked clam. This is uh, creamy peach and blackberry sorbet stacked on top of a vanilla sugar waffle cone. And I received this in order in May 2019. Um, so this was a full clam when I melted this this week. So I put two cubes in two separate warmers um, in different areas of our home when I melted this scent this week. And um, this scent smells the same on cold as it does on warm to me, which is a really yummy, creamy, like peach jammy scent with a um, really juicy blackberry jam type of scent mixed together. It's very good. Um, and to me, I get, um, the peach and blackberry both equally. Um, I will say that on warm and on cold, I do not get a waffle coney or bakery type of scent, which, um, is, I don't want to say a bummer because I do really like this scent, but, um, I do, like, I do wish that there was a little bit of some, like, extra bakery in there, though. Um, because, I mean, it, it does say waffle cone on there. But, um, I do really enjoy the scent, even without it. I just, 
you know, because the scent note is on there, Aquafel Cone, I do wish there was a little bit of bakery in there. Anyway, I don't know. I was just confusing about that. I do like this scent. Um, and my husband, this is one of my husband's um, favorite scents too, which um, that, like, that is, that's a big deal when your significant other comments on your wax and they're not like in the wax world and they comment on something that they do or do not like, like you make note about that y'all, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I know that he enjoys this scent as much as I do. Um, and surprisingly, even though it's like a little over four years old, it still did very, very well. Um, well, I don't want to say very, very well, because it wasn't like a monster throw. It was like a medium throw. Um, and it lasted for a couple of hours before it started to fizzle out a little bit. Um, and I, but I know, I know that this scent, um, does throw stronger than that and does have a longer, um, lasting throw than that. But I think because again, it's four years old that it was probably like powering through as much as it could. <laughs> Um, but it's a very good scent, and yes, I will continue to repurchase that. Um, next from Candles from the Keeping Room, we have Strawberry Cotton Candy Sugar Cookie. And this is a bag bag of strawberries, and I received this in order in August 2018. So there's that. Um, so with this one, I put one strawberry in two different warmers in two separate areas of our home. And I melted this scent this week, and on cold, I don't really smell much, but like a light, sweet type of scent but on warm it does smell like strawberry cotton candy um, I don't really get any cookie on warm but I do smell like a strawberry cotton candy however it was a very light throw um, it lasts for about two hours I gave it two hours to like let it do its thing and I didn't get any more than a light throw from it so it's like all right we're gonna move on um, this scent is <laughs> pushing five years old um, so I'm pretty sure that the light throw is because of its age. Um, I know a lot of people say that candles from the keeping room, um, her wax like just lasts and lasts and lasts. Um, which like I'm not discounting, you know, their opinions and their experiences with her wax. Um, but I do think for this particular scent for me, it just got too old. Um, so I will continue to repurchase this scent from her and just try it out um, a lot sooner than letting it get that old and like like go through the bag before it gets that old. Thank you. Okay. Um, next from Kay's Creations, <laughs> um, this vendor I don't really hear um, anybody talk about that much anymore. Um, and actually, I'm not even sure if she does still sell wax anymore. Um, but anyway, um, so from Kay's Creations, we have Mango Cookie Fluff, which is Mango Sorbet and her Cookie Fluff something or other. I think it's her, like, signature sugar cookie mixed with marshmallow. And this was a six pack of bows. And I received this in an order in April 2020. Um, so I put two bows in three separate warmers in three different areas of her home when I melted this scent this week. And this did pretty well. Um, it was a medium throw, uh, but it only lasted for about two hours before it started fizzling out a little bit. Um, and this scent smells the same on warm as it does on cold to me, which is a really yummy, creamy mango sorbet scent with bakery. Like you do get the bakery in here, or at least I do. Um, and it's really delicious, a really yummy scent. Um, and if she is still selling wax, um, I will continue to repurchase that scent from her because it's very good. Um, let's see. Oh, and next we have a full clam of Korsman from Super Tarts. And this is graham crackers, pie crust, and creamy zucchini bread. And I received this in order in September 2019. This was a full clam when I melted this this week. So I put two cubes in two different warmers in different areas of our home um, when I melted this this week. And, um... Let's see. This did very well. Um, strong throw. Lasted for about three hours before it started to fizzle out a little bit. 
Um, and then when I got to like a light throw, it was more like a, like a weird cinnamony scent. Um, so like I'm, like I'm making note that, um, I do like this scent. It's really good. So yes, I will continue to purchase it. Um, but I'm making note that when it begins to fizzle out a little bit, I'm going to quickly, um, turn it off and pour it out instead of letting it keep going. Um, uh, because I do not like the like weird cinnamony scent of like the after whatever. <laughs> um, and then the last two items in this weekly wax melts reviews, I melted together. We have a sample from candles from the keeping room that I received in a D stash in 2019. Um, and they sent grilled, pe uh, grilled peaches and pecans or pecans, however you like pronounce it. And then, um, an up the Creek scents scent cup and the scent peach ice cream. So I put um, both of these scents in two separate warmers. I put um, the full scent cup in one warmer and then this um, candles from the keeping room scent right here was a little peach shape and I put that in a separate warmer. Um, and both of these did, scents did pretty well. They were both um, about a medium throw. They both lasted for about three hours before they started fizzing out a little bit. Um, the candles from the keeping room one um, on cold, I really didn't get much of a smell from it or a scent from it. Um, but on warm, it's a little bit more on the like floral-y, peachy jam type of scent, which is not typically my favorite. Um, but it wasn't like overpowering, overpoweringly floral. So that was good. Um, and then the Up the Creek scents, the peach ice cream one, um, smells like a peachy, like a creamy peachy rings kind of scent on warm. And on cold uh, so it smells the same on warm as it does on cold to me um i wasn't like they neither one of them are like bad scents by any means to me um like they weren't like gross is what i mean um but i wasn't really like into either one of them um so i will not repurchase either one of them um but i mean if you like sweet peachy scents, then the peach ice cream one is right up your alley. If you like um, slightly floral peachy scents, then the grilled peaches and pecan scent is right up your alley. Um, but anyway, so that is everything for my weekly wax melts reviews for the week of June 26th through June, or, or, <sighs> let me redo that. <laughs> so that is everything for my weekly wax melts reviews for the week of June 26th through July 2nd. 2023. <laughs> Thank you all so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.